Gen Sports Corner back at you for Labor Day, Monday, September 4th, 2023. Um, before I get into it, for the YouTube family, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, make sure you share the video whenever I drop them because, you know, we want to keep this thing growing and rolling and, and whatnot. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it, man. I just want to talk about, you see the Eagles, gear. you know, it's, it's obviously NFL kickoff coming on Thursday for the NFL and then Sunday, Eagles playing the Patriots. You know, that out the way, let's go ahead and talk about boxing because you already know what it's about with that. Um, Earl Spence actually reactivated his rematch clause to fight Terrence Crawford. So we don't know when it's going to happen. We don't know what weight. We assume it's going to be at 154. I doubt it's going to be at 160, but I assume it will probably be at 154. But that fight's coming up now. All right, so they're locked into that. Everything's everything. Um, before I go into it, uh, what's going on to them? Peace, brethren, right back at you. You know Bird Gang right now. And, you know, stick around because I'm talking boxing, my boy. Talking boxing. Because if you haven't already heard, you're hearing from me now. Crawford's going to be rematching Spence, or should I say Spence activated his rematch clause to fight Terrence Crawford for a second time. So they're going to run it back. And that's what I'm talking about right now. Uh, now, you're looking at... All these things that have happened and whatnot. You know, you, you're looking at all these things that are happening. So Earl Spence wants to run that back. And Bo Mack, who is Terrence Crawford's trainer, he said, yo, we here for it. You know what I mean? They, he, they definitely want the fight. They believe they can win again. And then you go ahead and look at one of the fights that happened this weekend, I believe Saturday, between Liam Smith and Chris Eubank Jr. Liam Smith knocked, uh, stopped Eubank Jr. in their first fight. And this was the rematch. And Eubank Jr. came here under the guidance of, guess who, Bo Mack, who was coming off that huge win with Crawford over Spence. And he went into his corner, and he had him ready, and he boxed his head off from the opening round until the stoppage in the 10th round. I didn't look at the whole fight. I saw, I'd say, the first five or six rounds on replay, and it was clear that Liam Smith was not going to be able to win that fight, and it was just a matter of time. And he indeed got stopped in round 10. Coming into that fight, I think age, along with trying to drop all the weight, came into play. And he wasn't able to get uh, a victory in the rematch. But, you know, shout out to Chris B. Eubank Jr. and his team. And that this I'm this all ties into one thing, which is why I'm saying it. Bo Mack now is going to be, obviously, the trainer for Crawford going into the rematch. But I think just... Yesterday, no, today it was reported uh, Bo Mac McIntyre is currently incarcerated. You heard that correctly. He is currently incarcerated after being arrested on September 4th today for having a loaded firearm in his suitcase at the Manchester Airport, airport in England. The trainer, Bo Mac, will be jailed in the UK until his hearing on October 9th. That's a long time. I want you to think about that. You're talking about three to four weeks sitting being detained while waiting to get his case heard for trying for having a, a loaded firearm in his luggage, so to speak, right? Not so to speak, that's what it is. So is he gonna be able to prepare Terrence Crawford adequately for the rematch? Because we don't know if, if the rematch is going to take place in December. We don't know if it's gonna be later in the year, which would conflict with Terrence's schedule as well, because if there's a fight in 2024 now you have to push back other fights now you can't even think about canelo right now and you can't think about fighting charlo all those things are on hold until you settle this issue and the sooner the better for terrence but like i said your trainers <laughs> in jail in a country that is not named the usa for about a month and you don't even know what's going to happen at the hearing and so on and so forth so it's it's a funky period right now, okay? So you have that that whole ordeal right there. And then over here, you have Chris Eubank Jr., who's coming off the win against Liam Smith. And Bo Mack was talking about getting him into the ring with Triple G next or whatnot. Now what's going to go on with him? Is he going to be sitting and waiting in limbo while, we're, while Bo Mack is having his case being sorted out? You have two fighters who are kind of sitting in limbo wondering what the hell is going on with the situation. So that's... That's why I found it particularly fascinating. I was going to talk about this anyway, but this throws a whole different wrinkle into multiple timelines. 
multiple timelines. It's almost like the multiverse. Right? What what version of Terrence Crawford is going to get back into the ring with Earl Spence? Is it the version that has a full training camp with Bo Mack, or is it the version that has part time along with all the stress and and media circus that's going to come along with the the case and whatnot? So this is this is crazy, actually. All right. So I I just wanted to put that out there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just wanted to put out a brief video because you know this this is going to multiple. Fights are going to be affected by this. Uh, the winner of Canelo Charlo, that's going to be affected by this whole situation. And now with Triple G, with Chris Eubank Jr., is his career going to go back? Is it going to go to being stagnant after he kind of just quickly resurrected himself with his big win? Now that he doesn't know what's going on with Bo Mack? Don't know. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the rematch should be sooner rather than later? with Crawford and Spence, and what weight do you think it should be at? 154, 160, God forbid, 147 again? Leave it below.